Hey there and welcome to the shop. Today I'd like to show you Blue Demon's NI-55 filler metal. This is a cast iron filler metal. It is manufactured into wire form for MIG welding or rod form for TIG welding. Welding cast iron can be a challenge at best, but let Blue Demon stack the odds in your favor. NI-55 is 55% nickel nominally. It is a much, much harder filler metal after welding than NI-99. However, it is only 55% nickel, makes it much more affordable than NI-99. Like NI-99, the preheat for your casting is 350 degrees minimum, but don't exceed 1450, which is the critical temperature of cast iron. So when you weld cast iron, there are two methods that I've always been familiar with. One is to preheat, the other is not to preheat. Blue Demon recommends the preheat method with this product. Uh, as I stated before, 350 degrees Fahrenheit is the minimum temperature of preheat and inner pass for when you're making your weld. So typically what I would recommend for welding cast iron is you've got a crack. Uh, in our demonstration, we, we won't have to do this, but uh, say we were cracked here on the front of our casting, we would locate the ends of each crack and we would drill holes to stop the crack. Now, then we would want to, to groove out our crack and then we would want to preheat our entire casting uh, with some castings that is very easy, with some castings that is very difficult. Uh, something like this, we, uh, we want to get it up to uh, 400, 450, that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, and then uh, I'm going to weld a little bit and then peen a little bit. As you peen, you are elongating that weld and allowing it to relax a little bit. You want to peen directly after welding. Uh, if you let it cool, then it, it won't, uh, won't have the same effect. So uh, we want to drill, groove, weld, peen. And then the last part of the process is we want our casting to cool extremely slow. You will use um, uh, popular methods are sand, insulated blankets, or ovens. In our case, um, obviously this being a demonstration, we don't really care, but if we did care about this part, if it was a gearbox on a piece of machinery, we would probably want to get some sand ready so we can get done with our welding and then immediately take the part over to the sandbox and put it in the sandbox, cover it up with sand, and leave it uh, for a long time. I'll let you be the judge on that. Uh, if it was super important, I would finish my weld. I would probably put a little bit more heat into it, and then I would immediately take it, put it in sand, cover it with sand, and leave it for 24 hours. That would be my personal preference, to allow it to cool as slow as it could. Um, other options you may have, uh, like I mentioned, uh, a, a welding blanket, insulated blanket. Uh, if your part is small enough, oven or a charcoal grill even, you could heat your charcoal grill up. Yes, I have heard of people doing it. Um, put your coals in there, uh, let it come up to temperature, do your welding, and then take your part over, put it in there, put the lid on, let it cool, cool down really slow because eliminating or minimizing cracking in cast iron is the name of the game. And that's kind of the process we're gonna take. And uh, so let me get my gear on and let's get to that.
Thanks for spending your time with me. And please remember Blue Demon for all your cast iron, mild steel, stainless steel, or aluminum welding needs. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.